Alright, I'm supposed to pick another crew. Which one should we do? So I'm gonna take her. Then I'm gonna take... Who am I gonna take? The, her or him? Him or her? Her, him? Him, her. Him, her, her. I'm gonna take her. Hope this is the right decision. Oh. <laughs> Hey, where are we? Maybe a supply depot or something? But it's pretty run down. This door doesn't look like it's going to budge. What do you suppose we should do? Hey, take a look at this. Hey, shop. Nice. This rope. It might still work. Even have some battery power left. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Do you require our charging service? Fill that tank with fuel. Make sure to top it off. As you wish. Enemy transport. Charging has completed. Thank you for your patron. Let me move the fuel tank. You keep a lookout. Under the station. Make your way over there now. Who the fuck was shooting at me? Oh no, I can't let get all the glory. Give me glory. Give me glory, woman. You have got 
not to be joking. Oh man, let the good times roll. I hate to see your idea of a bad time. Open fire! I don't know where to go. Shit. Down. Oh, that was close. giant spider, huh? I don't think any of us expected that. Looks like the Ministry of Homeland Affairs really doesn't want us here. I knew it had been too easy so far. Security will only get tighter now. I'm glad you get it. If we're going to survive, we have to work as a team. That means trusting each other completely. Race and nationality mean nothing so long as we're all a Rus crew. And I'm counting on you, Dan. That survivor nickname actually means something, right? Good, so we should move. And we can't afford to engage that monster spider. Understood? Stay in cover and avoid being seen. If we can get to Mifune undetected, we should be okay. Let's go. There's nowhere else to go. So let's try getting up this building. What do I have here? Sold out. Fuck. Uh... All right. The gun is prepped up so far. Okay, got some from me? Ammo? Ammo? Nothing? Oh. Fuck you. That is so mean. Let's get out onto the rooftop. Look, we can get to the station from this roof. Let's go. done back there, Dan. That was something to see. You going to keep bringing the awesome? That's what I thought. I'm counting on you, survivor. This way!
right, you gotta move. You can't let him get the glory, right? Or else I, you know, I don't have that sympathy level right now. Oh! Die! Fucking... Rachel is not cool with me. Incoming! We can take it down by brute force. What now? This is HQ. Come in. You all hear me? We can hear you. That one's known as a spider. It was designed for defending bases. It appears they've taken the trouble to move it off coastal defense. Just for you. Okay, so what should we do about it? To support its body, each leg should be fitted with a sizable drive system. First, find those drive systems and destroy them. Destroy them? You expect us to do it ourselves? Yes. You were chosen because I thought you could handle it. Best of luck to you. Yes. I'd like to see him try it. Dad, you heard that, right? The legs! Go for the drive systems! I can see it! The drive system is that thing up huh? Ouch! 
Damn, look! Oh. They have some pretty good stuff! Let's go get our hands on some of those supplies! It's no good! The armor is too tough! That's good. We shouldn't be able to move anymore. Stop talking Wait, bully. It's still moving? Yeah. Dad, oh. look! They have some pretty good stuff! Let's go get our hands on some of those supplies! Don't give up yet. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit, she needs Rachel. Rachel, are you alright? It'll take more than this to kill me. Let's blast our way out of here. Dan, you okay? <laughs> Oh my god. If you can handle I'm yourself, fine. then fine. It'll but don't get careless. To kill me. This is even a bit much for me. God damn it. Don't give up yet. Oh, there it is. That was easy. Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. Everybody all right? Looks like we got out of that unscathed. I can't see a thing. The spider's a pain to the end. Shit, I hope I never go up against one of these things again. Dan. Uh, what is it? Something moving in the smoke. Uh, goddamn scrapheads never know when to give up. Yeah, so again we have like this guy who isn't like quite matured yet and you know, no thinks he knows, you know, how things are done. Let's go! Yeah, yeah. So we have like this group of rust kids. Right. Holy fuck, where am I? Okay, my ammo my ammo's full. Uh oh this way, okay. What what? Was there a shop up here or something? I gotta know. <laughs> okay, so what we have here? Sniper rifle, light machine gun, blah blah. Oh, Rachel is missing a, a first aid kit. 
Oh, her bed. I'll get it later on. Something up here? This way. Yeah, yeah. Something up here? Let's go. No. Ah. Ouch. All right, I'm coming. Never seen anyone beat a spider before. Oh, what? That thing? Uh, that was, uh, that was nothing, right? Uh, yeah. Bring it on. The bigger the better. Look, kids, you shouldn't be hanging about. We're here on business. God, it could be dangerous. Sod off. We've been waiting here for hours, and that's all the things we get? Sorry? Your business is our business, tough guy. I'm here to take you to Mifune. So follow me. She just called me tough guy. I think she did. Come on, tough guy. What's your bloody kids? Yeah, so like I said, so immature grown-ups. Which one of you is Charlie? So you must be Dan, the smart one. Welcome <laughs> to Shibuya. I'm Yuki. Aren't you a little young to be running errands for a gangster? I'm 15. I well, don't mind her. She's just a farm girl from the paddy fields. She doesn't get out to the big city much. Screw you, Yankee dog. So this is what? Some kind of black market? Kind of. You can get anything you want down here. So I see. Including crabs. Uh, uh. So what? Doesn't the government care about all this? The Ministry of Homeland Affairs sends security robots down here sometimes, but they only really care about their city. As far as they're concerned, we can starve down here. Yeah, I'm guessing the feeling's mutual, huh? Yeah, it's kind of sickening to see, like, you know, governments and, you know, high society people, or let's say, like, cultures. That's the most sickening thing yet, ever, right? Like, cultures... Oh, my back. Destroying other cultures, right? That's... That's, like, some, some interesting fact. And then they, like, pointed out that it's normal, right? That, you know, life itself is a... a that would be, like, life extinguishing itself right that would be like the meaning of life <laughs> that would be like if agent smith was right yeah that would be you know in the matrix i'm going back to this movie yes like when when agent smith said he knows the meaning of life and the meaning of life is to end all right to end it all and in the end you know neo said to Smith like that he was right so it's really a sickening thought that humans go by this uh, role model of life ending itself right extinguishing itself so we have like a whole lot of cultures right destroying each other for example like the National Socialists in Germany, right, did not only want to achieve world domination, but they also wanted to extinguish the Jews from the face of the earth. The same like a statement of uh, the former Iranian President Ahmadinejad, who started the fiery feud between Iran and Israel, who said that all Jews must be wiped off the planet. Right? And this feud 
you know, this, this, this mi mistrust, you know, consists till this day. The same like if you're like colored, or let's say if you're an African and you go around as, you know, around the world, I mean, that's the, <laughs> you know, you you look you, you you get a bad eye. You always catch bad looks, the baddest looks, right? The the the, the baddest looks of people, right? Like for, for example, if I was like a kid, an African boy, and I went to school in Russia, I don't want to imagine how they would give me a bad eye. No, really, really, right? So. What I'm getting at is, it's sickening to see mankind, even after 10,000 years, right, trying to extinguish itself, because it takes, like, life as a role model, which it cannot even follow properly, right, because if life is life and death is death, and we take life as a role model, but we extinguish ourselves and die. What? Then we, then we can't follow our own role model properly, right? So yeah, we have cultures extinguishing themselves instead of building like one giant culture, right? We destroy all cultures. Like an example for destroying, you know, if I go back to Africa, you know, there are so many diseases in that country, and I wonder, like, how, there are no, these diseases only break out in Africa, right, and, and there's no difference between, you know, a village in Africa where the people live in, like, absolute poverty, right, or live in shit, so to say, or if I go to India and they, you know, bathe themselves in the Ganges and they piss and shit in that river and everything and they and they wash themselves in it, right? They don't get gangrene, right? So s stuff like that. They don't get Ebola, right? All these diseases are like, you know, are in Africa, and and it's it's like it's it's so it's so horrifying, right? And then people, you know who are dark-skinned are always looked at with a bad eye somewhat right they you always the worst conscience they bring out the worst conscience in 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 in, in people right like i told myself there's like this party in germany called the afw it's short for the alternative for germany and it's like a a right-wing party Right, they're racist, and they consist of like really pale-faced people. Right, they're so pale, bleach faces. You can call them bleach face party. Right, no, really, it's a bleach face party. And all they was all they all talk all they talk about is like getting the canceller out of her, um, her, her you know toppling the Chancellor of Germany right which is a woman okay but aside besides that I asked myself like what is this party program right why why who do they want to have out I asked myself the question and I demanded answers right I demanded answer I, I wanted to know who exactly do they do they not want to have or let in in their country right into Germany and today I got the answer they said they do not want Africans to come into their country right that's what they said today I got I got the answer today so there you have it right there you have it if if it was like a pale face from Africa I I guess they they would not have nothing against that right but if they if a dark-skinned man or human would come into a country right what for, for, for ever reasons they would get the worst 
con they would bring out the worst conscience out of the people, you know, out of the people. They would get the bad eye. Uh, so yeah, life, right? Life is life, and um, the meaning of life to end all life is, I don't know, it's kind of stupid. But if that's the fact, and you play along, right, you, you play along that role model, then you are not intelligent enough to sustain. Just like in the Matrix they said, right, this is the age of the machines, right, this is evolution. We're talking about evolution here. So if you cannot climb that evolutionary ladder because you follow this so-called life as a you have this life so-called life as a role model and you're just part of one of many cultures extinguishing each other right then um, that is then you're not intelligent enough to to evolve so that's what I'm trying to say and it doesn't matter like you see these scrap crew kids here Right, it, like like this girl said, it doesn't matter what race you are, right, or or what nationality, so-called nationality, right. There, you, you have to pull on one string together in order to evolve. Like there is no, like I said, there. This is this is not um, some kind of. There, this is not evolving. Is is not some kind of secret, right? Evolving. I guess so that you know if in order to evolve you don't have to build up some kind of secret right in order to evolve on that on the contrary you gotta spit it all out you gotta let it all out right in order to make people evolve right and and to evolve yourself see that's what I'm saying and 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 that's that's the point it's sickening it's so sickening and um, and it's and it's a disgrace it's a disgrace for the entire ma for entire for, for for the entire humanity it's a, it's a low down disgrace and there is actually no hope for anything to get better <laughs> that's that's the, that's the truth so in act in actuality in order to make let things get better or make things work you have to establish, and this is the truth, you have to establish a new dawn of mankind. And, uh, yeah. And the only thing, or only one, to clear the way for this new mankind is the Almighty Himself. And no one else. Okay. Don't keep the boss waiting. Get Yuki to take you. Chop chop. Choppy chop chop. Hey baby. Oh, hello honey. Looking for a good time? I can give you a good deal. Yeah, she stinks of cigarettes. <laughs> Too bad you have friends along. I'm not into group things. How about that sweet thing there, Tan? Could be a bargain. Bah. We got some time still. Want to get a little action in, partner? Oh my god, he's so perverted. And I have to say, yeah, to build up the sympathy level? Like, my gosh, is that nasty? <laughs> yeah, you're a player. That's my man. Ugh. Go over and talk to him. I'm counting on you. Hey there, guy. Looking mighty cut. Masaneri, right? What's with you? Don't speak American? Sorry, all booked up. Too bad, too, because I would have given a stud like you a free sample. <laughs> no time for this. I don't have time for browsers. So what? 
Yo, Dan, how'd it go, brother? She game to take us on? You have to say yes again. Yeah? This is great! I gotta get me some of that. Let me go talk to her now. Hey, baby. Huh? No dice. Customer's always right, baby. Shit. Damn, when did hoes get standards? Breaks my freaking heart. Why well, I always fall for the hard to get ones? Why do you walk like you dumped in your pants? It's this damn job. I need a little sweet motivation to keep at it, man. Alright. So there you have it. He's upset, he's depressed, and he needs some joy in his life. This area appears to be Mifune's turf. Information can be sniffed out in places like this. Dan, why don't you go scouting on your own a bit? That's good, you should. But don't get into any trouble. You don't need to bother. This sure is a lively place, but I don't think I could ever fit in here. How about you? You probably like it here. So, I have to say no in order to, you know... Oh my god. Now there's a shocker. Well, you're not saying that because of me, are you? I'm a modern girl, you know? Think I care? <laughs> like, why do I have to bother with this? Like, do we have to get in bed with each other or something? Really? Can't we all just be friends? Can't we Only all just... Place keeping his head above the water in the slums right here. It's like a bunch you of kids, right? You can get your hands right? on almost anything. For better or for worse. Off in the ladder. It's like a bunch of kids, right? I remember being in first grade and, I, and then they told me I should pick some friends. Yeah, like, oh, do we have to... Do we share the same interest? Oh, we should... Do you like Nintendo? Right? <laughs> all this shit... And if you say no... Right? And, and, and then you're like unsympathetic. That's like a bunch of immature grown-ups here. Yeah, and that's, now we're coming back to culture, right? So, <laughs> mankind consists of so many immature life forms, life beings, right? How can you evolve? How the fuck can you evolve from that? I swear. I guess slums have the same feel no matter where you go. Makes you feel a little nostalgic, don't you think? You have to say yes again. So you think so too? This place has something our modern robot-filled world could never have. Maybe noisy and grimy, but I find it strangely comforting. Almost reminds me of home. Uh, Alright, so do we have everyone? One, two, three, I think so. You got some for me? Hey man, you aren't from around here, are you? Got any money? I'm not looking for a handout. Got something good to sell. 500 credits and it's yours. I don't actually need it, but okay. <laughs> nice doing business with you. Here you are. What the fuck? Enjoy it, fool. Ah, uh, oh man, I was supposed to equip it before. God damn it. Alright, so Bo is almost finished. I only have to get him to that fourth bar. Then then that's it. Oh man. Oh well. This is Mafune's turf. Don't cause any trouble. I really don't care for all this. But know your enemy, I guess. Yeah, yeah.
It's this damn job. I need a little sweet motivation to keep at it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna grab me some sweet. This way! <laughs> I don't care. Uh, oh, man. Okay, so if I take this, and then I take, like, this, or... Ah, oh, fuck all this. Give me my, let me upgrade my gun. Yes, that's right. So, okay, we're gonna go with accuracy again. Can't be accurate enough. Then we're gonna increase our firepower, increase our range. No, blah, 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 blah. Rate of fire? Nah, I don't need that. Shock burst, bosonic. Yeah, and then we're gonna get my bosonic charge here. Okay. All right. Hey, you got some for me? Uh. Dan, wait. What is it? Take a look at this. This is none of our business. Let's go. That's Yeah, a hollow child. According to the kids, he was buried under the rubble left after we took down that spider. なるほどな。こんなの見たことねえ。俺らも驚きましたよ。おい、急に何なんだ話してくれ。俺どうする気だ。ん?こいつ自分の正体が分かってねえのか。そのようで。おい、俺の目見ろ。よく見るんだ。なんだ。こ。嘘だろ。自分の立場が分かったか。このロボットやろう。違う。俺は人間だ。こんなことばかりだ。いいだろ。見船の親父に見せる。どうも。よくできてやる。よせ、親父に見せる前に壊れちまう。
Hey, Scraphead, over here! <laughs> I don't want to die. You won't. Only humans can die. What? What am I? A hollow child. And that's what we call you. You've been programmed to think you're human, but you're not. Yeah, look at those kids. Think they know it all. Didn't even give it one clear thought. Not a second, not a third. <laughs> No thought whatsoever. Intervening like that was rash. The last thing we need is more attention from the cops and Yakuza. Maybe. But it makes me wonder. What? How many more hollow children are walking among us? Come on. Mifune's waiting for us. Right. Like, maybe Dan's a hollow child too, right? And he doesn't know it. The survivor? Anyway... So, they built robots to help them establish their inf new infrastructure. And... 95%... You know, of, of global share... Rests, like, in the US. <laughs> like robots, right? Do did do they demand pay? Did they get paid for something? I guess not. Right? And the US had like ninety five percent of this robot share. And um, yeah, robot is a Czech word for slave. So if he says he's not a slave, and they said like. Yes, you are. You are a slave. And wanted to bring him to the boss. And he refused, right? Like, and then, like, this Dan boy doesn't give him any fucking right to be free, right? Says, like, no, you're a slave. Live with it. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. No fucking thought whatsoever. So yeah, according to this game, 95% of slave labor distributed in the United States of America. Because robot is a Czech word for slave. So if you are into robotics, you know that. The history. No. Stay back! I want nothing to do with you people! Yeah. It's not like I've never seen a guy shot to death, but a robot committing suicide? Now that's a first. Never even heard of such a thing. <laughs> 